This is Watch Your Style. My name's Eric. Today's video is gonna be on watch winders. Okay, so, you know, you've gotten into the watch collecting lifestyle and you've uh, acquired, uh, you know, several Rolexes, APs, Patek, Richard Mills, or like Mayweather says, Richard Mill, or, you know, things like that. Um, and you kind of want to expand the hobby. Uh, that's kind of where these things come in. You know, this isn't just your, this isn't your average watch winder, okay? This is a Boobin and Zorweg. Uh, pretty much the Patek Philippe of watch winders. Something like this will set you back 10 grand. Now, this goes into this argument. Do you really need a watch winder? And I say the answer is no. Okay, no brand is gonna recommend that you keep your watch in a watch winder. And as a matter of fact, sometimes a cheap watch winder will, could possibly cause more damage than good. It could wind your watch in the wrong direction. Uh, it, could, it could create a magnetic field around the watch, even though I think that's bullshit, but that's what they say. Um, there's many things. If you set it wrong, it could wind, overwind your watch for no reason. Um, but the real reason that we get watch winders are because they're just freaking cool, you know? It's just, it just gives you that next little step in the collecting lifestyle that gives you something different that's cool. Do you need this quality, no. But if you can, why not? Um, I've had watch winders myself, and um, you know, it starts off kind of like a novelty thing, you know, like you kind of want one, and you know, you like the whole movie about it, and it just, it wears off, but it's still fun. You know, I, I, I personally don't like to have just one watch winder sitting there with one watch. I don't have a problem winding my watch and setting the time every time I wear it. Um, for the people out there that complain that every time they got to wear their luxury watch, they got to set the time. Well, you know what? That's just part of the hobby, you know? That's like saying you're into flying and you don't like uh, doing a pre-flight inspection. Well, you know what? I don't know what the heck to tell you. It's just part of, the, it's part of the thing, part of the hobby. But you see a box of this level. One of the things about this box is that it's just a box. So this is not going to you know, provide any source of protection. Uh, the right way to have this watch winder would be inside of a fancy safe because the last thing you want is for somebody to break into your house, steal eight of your watches, and an expensive ass watch winder. But one thing about, like I said, it's just kind of like a hobby thing, you know? You kind of want to do your homework. There are uh, many nice brands out there like Orbita, uh, and like I mentioned, the uh, Boobin and Zorwig happens to be one of the best watch winders out there. It just, you know, they got the most quality. I mean, this particular one here that I have for you is the Vantage 8 model, and it has a uh, real carbon fiber right down here in the middle with a black piano finish, beautiful glass door in the front, uh, all suede inlays with some really nice cradles for the watches, and a digital display so that you can set up different, you know, different sides to wind different or different directions, because depending on the watch that you put, it will need a different direction. Uh, not every watch is omnidirectional winding on the rotor. Uh, obviously, this would be useless on a manual wound watch, but hell, it would still be a cool ass way to keep your watches. So, that being said, are watch winders necessary? Absolutely not. Uh, it's a novelty thing, man. It's something to just have fun and do something different in the hobby. Do you understand? And I've been there myself, you know, I have a nice little modular setup that uh, you can set it up anywhere from 4 to 30 of them. And uh, I use it for a little while and it's fun and in the long run, what I've noticed from many of my friends that are collectors is that usually we end up just disconnecting the power cable and pretty much we just use it as somewhere to store the watches. So keep it in mind if you want to have some fun, you know, watch winding is something to go to the next level. And uh, just uh, read the directions carefully. You want to make sure you set up the right winding position for your watch. So feel free to comment on the video and let me know if what's your experience with the watch winders. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric. Watch your style.